Hi guys, so I put up this look on Instagram yesterday and a load of you want to see a makeup tutorial. I also tweeted if you guys want to see this look and loads of you said yes. So I'm, I've am i just realized my top is inside out. Yes, it is, okay. Back to what I was saying. So many of you wanted a makeup tutorial, so I'm here doing a makeup tutorial for you guys. It's really like doll-like and it's just a, just a look that I would totally go for and I love it. So I hope you guys enjoy the makeup tutorial. Yeah, if you want to see this look, then keep on watching. Okay, so I've already moisturised my skin. I use the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturising Cream for very dry to dry skin. I'm going to start off with my brows like I normally do. I'm just going to brush through them. I'm going to use my MAC Eyebrow Pencil in Spiked. We'll get real love. So I follow the natural shape I already have and then it's sort of just build from that shape. So I don't really have an arch here, but I just create one with what I do have. And I always keep brushing through. I'm gonna do an updated brow routine, like a proper in-depth how I do my brows. And then I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder in Ebony. I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's like a brow brush, I suppose, because it's got a spoolie and then it's got this angled bit. And um, this is number 12. And I'm just going to shade in where there's random gaps. I prefer to do this with the powder because it makes it look more natural rather than like colouring it in with pencil I just find it just looks far better when I do this rather than doing it with all pencil okay and then I'm gonna conceal my brows I conceal with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer my shade is it's come off so I can't say what my shade is I think it was medium dark something like that um, I normally use this but I'm a little bit more tan for this now so I mix it with the Makeup Forever Full Cover concealer just for the colour. Um, I actually don't really try this on its own, I probably should, but I just mix these two together on the back of my hand. This is just to clean up any areas. It's a really good trick to do if you're like in the middle of like growing your brows. And then it doesn't look so ridiculous. Unless someone goes really close to your face, but like, then you can just be like, bitch, why are you so close? You know what I mean? No, like, people can notice the hairs and you get you too close. Basically. With the rest of the concealer that's on the back of my hand, I like to go in these bits in my eyes, just because I always do my eyes before I do my foundation. And then when I do my foundation, I forget to put um, product here and then when I go to take like flash photos and stuff I can like see where I've missed it and it just looks ridiculous. I'm gonna prime my lid with Ember Decay Primer Potion as per usual. I'm actually looking for a new primer. Um, not, for, not for any particular reason, I like that primer but I like to try new products and stuff. Apparently the NARS primer is really really good and I think I'm gonna get that. I'm also going to prime my face with Marc Jacobs Primer. Now, I did a Snapchat run about this, um, saying how much I didn't really, really like it. I didn't see the hype about it. And I did try it for quite a few times and I just didn't like it. But I ended up trying it again, just because I just, I like to give products a try. I tried it again and like, <sighs> I really, really like it. I personally think it has something to do with the weather change. I didn't really particularly like it in summer and then while it was cooling down, but it was still good weather. I didn't really like it. Now that it's winter, my skin is a lot drier and I feel like this is like perfect for dry skin because before it made my skin really, really oily. But it is working like a dream, like now that it's autumn or fall, whatever you want to call it. Um, so yeah, I kind of take back what I said. I like to prime my face while I'm doing my eyes just so the product can absorb and stuff. Um, 
Anyway, onto the eyes. So I'm mainly gonna be I'm gonna be using this palette. Um, it's just a customized palette from Mac. Um, I just I just put these four in this particular palette. Um, I'm gonna be using Omega, and I'm gonna be using it on a Mac 224. I need to get a new one of these because it's just crusty right now. This is gonna be like a transition shade, so there's really not much colour to it at all, but it's just something that the other colours can blend into. So this is just gonna go in the crease. There's really not much colour to it at all. I'm next gonna take my MAC 217 and I'm gonna mix it, mix these two colours together. So this one is Blackberry and this one is Espresso. My brush is kind of dirty. I, I used it in this colour yesterday. Um, so it's still gonna come out the same. So Blackberry and Espresso, mix them two together on a 217. And go right in the crease with this. I mixed the blackberry colour because this look is quite pinkish um, so you don't want there to be like a solid brown in the colour you want there to be a hint of some sort of purple or some sort of pink I feel like it complements the pink on the lids way more For the lid I'm going to be using this Joeva brush it's just a flat brush you want to have it as a flat brush because you want to pack colour on um, I'm going to be using this colour this is Yogurt by MAC it is a matte pink colour. And then blend the crease out again. I sort of didn't think that the lids were pink enough yesterday, so I'm gonna use my Too Faced Ignore the State of Mine. Okay, ignore. I'm gonna use my Too Faced um, chocolate bar palette. I'm not sure what the colour I'm gonna about to use is called, but I'm gonna use this pink here. This palette smells delightful. So I'm going to curl my eyelashes. The mascara I'm using is the What's Your Type Mascara by The Balm. This is the tall, dark and handsome one. I love this mascara a lot. Okay, so I'm going to use some eyelashes. The eyelashes I'm using are the Lily Lashes. Mine are not in there because I used them yesterday. But they look like this they are fabulous these are in monaco i don't know if i'm saying that right okay so you want to do this as close to the lash line as you possibly can do it because there's not going to be eyeliner so as close as possible i actually this makes me nervous because it just does okay here we go I always put them in the middle first and then I arrange the outer edge. I'm gonna leave them to dry. I'm gonna be able to foundation now. I am gonna use a new foundation that I have not used before. I'm gonna start off by using my favourite foundation brush, which is the Jueva one. I've mentioned it a couple of times now. Um, I'm going to be using the Born This Way Too Faced Foundation. My shade is Honey. I've had a lot about this foundation, so I'm just going to do two pumps because I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to do what I normally do and just dot it around my face. Seems like a good colour match, so that's okay. I colour matched it myself. So it was a risky, risky time. Okay. I get, I am the most nervous person when it comes to trying foundations, new ones, because I just, I don't know. I'm gonna use my foundation brush and start buffing this in. I feel like a beauty blend is good. You guys are the first to see me try this foundation. It's quite exciting. <laughs> so that's one layer and I feel like it seems quite good. I'm just gonna bring it down my neck. 
It's a good colour match, but I always do this anyway. Time for concealer. I'm going to use my Bobbi Brown corrector first in dark peach. I'm going to go out and do my eyes with this a little bit. Uh, under my eyes, I'm going to be using the Amazing Concealer. So anyway, I'm using the Amazing Concealer in Tan Golden. And blend it out. Okay, to set that with, I'm going to be using my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. And another um, spongy thingy. And I tap that underneath my eye. I like to do this. As soon as I put concealer on, because it avoids the creasing, and I get a lot of creasing. <laughs> While that is baking, I'm going to use my MAC Mirrorize Foundation in NW50. This is to contour. I'm using my Body Shop brush, and um, this is a blusher brush. And I'm going to just go around my forehead first. And then cheekbones. So I'm going to dust the rest of this powder off because I just look mental. And um, I'm going to use my contour brush by Real Techniques and dust it away. I'm not pressing down hard at all, it's really like very light strokes. This lighting is driving me insane. Like legit insane that no, I actually I'm going to go crazy. I finish off my eyes real quick before I finish off the face. Um, I'm gonna go back into these two colours, Blackberry and Espresso, and go underneath my eyes. <laughs> I'm using the 217 to go underneath my eyes, which is like my favourite brush for blending underneath the eyes. I'm gonna take my MAC, my MAC 219, I'm sure it is, but don't hold me on that, it's just like a pencil brush. Okay, so I'm gonna use my e.l.f. matte eyeshadow in, it's just a white colour, but I don't know if this is still available, but just get a white, a matte white. And I've never used a matte in, in a corner before, but I think I love it. I think it looks really, really good. And then mascara on the bottom lashes. I'm going to use the same mascara by the bar on the tall, dark, and handsome one. Also, going to use a nude eyeliner. This is a Mr. Right Now eyeliner pencil by the Balm. This colour is called Brian, I believe. I'm just going to go in my waterline. This creates that doll-like eye. To finish off the face, I'm going to take my Labelle um, brush. I wash mine and it sort of dried wrong, which is why that's sticking out, but that wasn't like that before. It's just an angled fluffy brush basically. I'm going to use my Bahama Mama bronzer by The Balm. This is like a cool toned bronzer which is why I like it for contouring a lot. And I also like this brush because it's at an angle. Um, I'm just going to take it and put it on my cheekbone. Okay, highlight. Highlight! Jay Pierce's favourite part of life. I'm going to take my Real Techniques buffing brush and I'm going to take my MAC Lustre Drops which I know, I know it's not available but there are like several other 
illuminators you can use it and um, benefit have a really good one the high beam and there's different ones just use what you've got or what is available sleek do some like um liquid ones as well i've got these two this is called cuba and this is called monaco i'm going to use my mac gold deposit um, this is sort of like a bronzer, but extremely shimmery. So I would never use this as a bronzer. I use it as a highlight. It's really, really goldy. Looks amazing on brown skin tones, dark skin tones. Amazing. And I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills A23 brush, which was created for the illuminators, which I'm also going to be putting in a bit of that today. But I'm just going to use this first. Then I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighter in So Hollywood, which is my absolute favorite. My favorite highlighter, hands down, ever. I'm going to use a random other brush. This is going to go on my cupid's bow. I'm gonna highlight the brow bone a little bit also. Blush, I'm going to use my Real Techniques Duo Fibre Brush and I'm going to use the colour Melba by MAC. It's like a peachy, rosy colour. Lastly, lips. Okay, MAC lip liner in well. You can own overline your lips um, if you want, because obviously it's a Kylie Jenner look, but I'm not going to. I've got pretty full lips as it is. I need to get a new one of these pencils. Look how low I am. <laughs> just ridiculous. Turns down my like most used lip liner. And I'm gonna use my Makeup Forever Rouge Artist Intense Lipstick. Uh, this is Matte One. This is a, like a beautiful matte nude. I love it. Okay, and last but not least, MAC Fix Plus, always, forever, I will always finish with this. Yes! I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. I love this look, I think it is just so pretty. I done it yesterday and then I put it on Instagram and then people wanted a tutorial and I also tweeted if you guys watch tutorials. So. I like you just watched this makeup again because I really do like it. But yeah, thanks again for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like, share this video. You have no idea how much it helps me. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.